Hello and welcome to Raflims. This is Faru Hosan, and today we are going to discuss the Koha Open Source Integrated Library Management System. According to Koha Community site, Koha is the world's first integrated library system. That may be right or may be wrong, but what I feel and a number of researchers and developers declare it the world's best free and open source integrated library management system. One of the research scholar Muller presented an analysis of over 20 free and open source integrated library system in his research article how to choose a free and open source integrated library system in 2011 by evaluating their licensing communities and functionalities his finding shows that koha constantly received the best result at all stages of the study According to him Koha is 100% free and open source integrated library system there's no hidden charges involved there's no license fee involved there's no third party involved with a critical mass of developers contributors and users around the world Koha represented 100% ideal score in the maturity of over 800 functions and features So it started on 6 September 1999 by a library trust and developed by the Katipo Communication of New Zealand. So that was a brief introduction about Koha. Now let's talk about its community. Today as I said today it becomes the most widely implemented free and open source integrated library management system in the world and mature enough to be functionalities comparable even better than many subscribe system so if you want to check koha uh, user around the world you just need to go koha community website uh, there you can find or koha wiki website is actually wiki i call it wiki so there you can find the koha user around the world i just click on this link it's wiki.koha dash community dot org and rest of the address is available here and just click on this link even you can write on Google that you can find uh, the Koha user worldwide and you can see the Koha is everywhere in every continent of the world in Africa in Europe in Middle East in East Asia in South Asia in Southeast Asia and rest part of the world so I just click on South Asia where we are right now. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, there you can see the list of countries. Uh, for example, we have Afghanistan, we have Bangladesh, we have India, we have Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and there you can find the country name and the location. I mean, the city name. library type what is the library type uh, either it's acad academic library either it's public library a school library university library whatever the library type and then library name and the link to koha opac and the contact person who actually did that or who is responsible for this koha um and then in note area you can find the uh version of koha and rest details about the implementation so i just click on pakistan here okay there you can see where it has implemented who has implemented you can also find my name where i have implemented koha and the rest details anyhow let's back to the topic and similar you can find the other uh, regions of the world Okay, right now I am on Wi-Fi, so it's maybe little slow. Okay, you can see. Uh, okay, just click on Europe, for example. <clears throat> so there you can see list of countries. uh for example australia denmark finland france georgia germany 
Italy, Netherlands, Turkey, and UK, of course. So you can see uh, the same thing. I mean, the country name, the location, uh, the city name, the library type, library name, and Koha pack link, contact person, and note. So you can see here, same thing. Let's back to the topic. Um, after discussing the Koha worldwide user, let's talk about Pakistan. So I have collected this data from various sources. Maybe I'm wrong, but Koha is implemented in top libraries of Pakistan, uh, either academic library, either school library, either university library or special library. Uh, so you can see where you find the static. That's when I have implemented Koha. Uh, first, I have implemented Koha at International Center for Chemical and Biological Sciences in University of Karachi. And lastly, I have implemented Koha at Ikra Library. It's formerly Military Station Library at Malik and Karachi. And uh, you can see the rest institution here. Uh, it has where it has implemented. So, and. Uh, so Koha is not only for user, it's also for developers. Koha has many vendors providing hosting support and development services on payment basis. I mean paid services. So if you need paid services, you just go on Koha community site. It's koha-community.org. There you can find the paid services as well. I have already opened this address and just go to the direct directory and so if you are a vendor, you can get into the list or you can check this list. It's available randomly. It's available continent wide. It's available country wide or alphabetically. Just click on alphabetic list. So there you can see it's A to Z and where it has who is the contact person and the country name the city name and the contact details i mean the phone number the email address and the website by the way koha also has a, a demo website there you can check uh koha demo i mean the companies also release their demo version there so you can check them for example this is one of the company biowater is one of the company uh, I mean the Koha vendor, the deal in Koha, so you can check them. So there you can check their demo version as well, where OPAC you will find, where you staff login you will find with the password and the version details as well. So back to the topic. So we have talk about the basic introduction of Koha now and the community of Koha. Now let's uh, let us discuss its features. As I said, Koha is fully featured, scalable ILS that support all size of libraries from a single to multi branches with a complete set of integrated modules. What does it mean by integrated module? As I said before in my prior video, uh, any integrated library system or any library system design on different modules and each module connected with others like a relational database so koha is again an integrated library system it has a complete set of integrated modules such as acquisition circulation cataloging serial management authorities flexible reporting and different tools like label printing multi format notices offline circulation etc so let us go through the functionalities of different modules of Koha. We have catalog first, and we also call it OPAC, Online Public Access Catalog. So Yang and Hoofman compared the OPAC of Koha, Evergreen, and Voyager, and declared that Koha OPAC is more advanced and innovative than Evergreen and Voyager in 2010. Evergreen is again an open source integrated library system and Voyager is one of the subscribe system. So I just stop my screen 
for few seconds then you will check the functionalities of opac and rest of the module so koha opac theme is fully responsive what does it mean by responsive it means it can be addressed on all size of devices either you have mobile either you have laptop or either you have normal si screen size or whatever the size of your uh, computer screen it will adjust properly on that size of screen so koha hat has keyword searching it has advanced searching and as you can see uh, i just stop my screen for few seconds so you will check it out the functionalities of opac and then the other modules after a pack we have acquisition uh it's actually one of the finest module of koha to manage your budgets and funds i mean library budgets and funds so there you can order to vendors and you check you can check it out and you can manage the records of your accounts detail your library budgets detail your funds detail whatever thing and you can even track the records and you can write the uh, uh claim letters or so after acquisition we have uh, cataloging cataloging is the most important task of librarian so you can add bibliographic and authority record by batch uploading or you can use copy cataloging with a built-in client z39.50 or you can use oclc connection you can follow acr2 uh, code or you can follow rda framework whatever you want to do with cataloging of koha so koha cataloging is quite easy and effective so you can see the rest of the thing and after cataloging koha has a circulation circulation is you can perform checking checkouts of books by barcode scanner by qr code by thumb impression or manually so all these are available in front of your screen i just stop my screen for a few seconds so you can read them and let us go to other module pattern management or membership this is again an important task of librarians or uh, information resource center so you can see you can upload patterns or member in bulk file in a batch file and you can use you can also upload pattern images individually or in a bulk you can create pattern cards and rest you can see here after patterns management we have serial management serial management is one of the tricky modules of koha but it's very effective you just need to practice how to manage your subscription so you can manage subscription very easily with koha and i we will just discuss in some next videos how you can work on koha serial management so after the serial management we have reports so you can write any report you want there's a complete wiki there's a complete koha report a report library there you can just copy and paste the sql code and your report will be ready and after reports we have administrations and tools koha has a fully access to you have fully access to administrative functions over 400 system preferences to make koha run just the way you want so and we each modules of koha is built on some library standards and protocols such as mark 21 unimark z39.50 to ensure interoperability uh, between koha and other systems and technologies like ldap functionalities for single signing rfid for library security and self-checking checkout and koha is truly a multilingual and translatable ils there's a urdu version also available one of our friend atal rahman did that and it's available on koha community website so you can find the koha urdu version as well and after functions and features we will talk about the koha licensing as i said koha is 100 percent free and open source integrated library system there's no third party involved 
there's no license fee involved there's no hidden charges involved that's mean koha is distributed under the free software journal public license it's called gpl version 3 or later so that's mean all aspects of the products are free and open to use and modify so if you can modify koha you can we will teach you we will learn how we can uh, modify the different modules of koha in some next videos and libraries are free to install the last thing actually libraries are free to install and use koha themselves while there's no license fee agreement there's no third party involved so we have talked about the uh koha different uh, we have talked about the Koha community, we have talked about the Koha functionalities, we have discussed the Koha license. In next video, we will talk about the Koha prerequisites. What are the prerequisites required before installing Koha and, uh, and what will be the hardware requirement and how we can install Koha, how we can configure Koha and customize it. So, so thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned. You are watching Raflims. I'm Parukh Hussain. Thank you once again.